good. Okay. Hi, my name is Alexis Schultz. I am the president of Akron's women's team. Um, I'm also a captain for the women's team and the pinch team. And I'm joined today by um, sophomore Abby Emery, October Women's Baller of the Month. She absolutely dominated in both co-ed pinch and the women's tournaments this semester. So Abby, um, how are you feeling about this recognition? Oh, she was also recognized on the women's All-American list, the preseason list, so. Yeah, good, thank you. I'm grateful to be recognized. <laughs> <laughs> um, back in November, 2022, you were Women's Rookie of the Month. Um, has your gameplay changed at all since then? Um, I just say probably like knowledge of the game, just making like smarter, better decisions than yeah. I did last year. Yeah, because I mean, at that point you would have been, uh, it would have been your fourth, not even fourth, second month in dodgeball. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, but, um, you got a full year under you now. Mm -hmm. um, so do you think um, the opportunity to play no sting has improved your pinch gameplay? Uh, yeah, I'd say so, just because, like, I feel like I play a completely different role in no sting than I do when I play pinch, so it just kind of, like, gives me an opportunity to do things that I don't normally get to do in pinch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, do you think it's easier to catch a no sting or a pinch ball? I'd probably have to say a pinch ball, as long as it's, like, not thrown by certain people on the team. <laughs> but besides, Fair. like, besides Fair. that, a pinch over the no sting. Fair. Yeah, no stings are hard. Those things are bouncy. Mm -hmm. um, so, at um, Women's Pink Out, you dismantled MSU, and you had four catches in a row to um, win us one of the points. And on the day, you had 15 catches, 15 total kills, and a plus minus of 14. So I'm going to play the video for you, and we're going to do a live reaction to Abby's um, four catches in a row against MSU. Oh. <laughs> that was the first one. <laughs> That was a good catch. I mean, yes. Knee pads are coming in handy. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even used to play with knee pads. Oh, that was the first time. Do you remember what was going through your head? <laughs> no, I don't know. I was just like. <laughs> thought it was funny that they just like kept throwing at me like I was kind of like <laughs> <laughs> no yeah bro. it was how uh, I was just like at this point I don't think there's much time left so I was just kind of like if I get out I get out but yeah yeah I don't normally go for like blocks or anything anyways so I'm not very good at that so, <laughs> <laughs> so you dominate and catching <laughs> yeah that was amazing I remember staying there I was like okay okay Abby. and then you got two and I was like okay and then you got three and four and I was like let's go <laughs> Uh, that was that was huge, especially your last one. You like jumped up and caught it too, because you totally could have just ducked, but you go for like every <laughs> catch possible. That was yeah. perfect. Um, so leading up to like you you playing dodgeball in the first place, did you play any sports in high school that you think helped your dodgeball game now? Um, yeah, I played golf, basketball, and lacrosse in high school. So I'd say mostly with just like basketball and lacrosse, just some of the like reaction time there. Um, for sure. Probably translate a little bit. And then I, I did play softball for a good amount of time, just not in high school. So throwing wise, I guess that helps a little bit. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Um, so you were the number four. Um, does that number have any significance for you? <sighs> not too much. Just that like, as a kid, that was like my favorite number growing up. But I feel like in most of my sports, I've just been number four. So I just kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Stick, stick with it mm -hmm. if it's working. Um, what would your preferred walk-up song be if you had one for dodgeball? <laughs> Probably Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Okay, that's a good pick. <laughs> that's a good pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anyone in either pinch or nose thing that you model your game after? Or, like, look up to on Akron's team or other teams in the league? Uh, yeah. Just any of the, like, leaders on our team. Like, PJ, obviously. I feel like everyone... Uh, looks up to him just yeah. as like presence <laughs> when he <laughs> plays, but um, yeah. and definitely you too. <laughs> like, I feel like just women's wise, like I, so I usually have looked up to. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
who is okay so akron one of akron's players coined this term air raid it's basically a dodgeball suicide but he yells air raid when he does it so on akron's team who is your favorite person to air raid and why <laughs> <laughs> i haven't gotten much into the air raid <laughs> so far but um yeah if i had to pick someone i'd just probably say like Emily, <laughs> the, the reaction, the reactions there are just pretty funny. I feel like so, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I think that's all I have for you today. But thank you, yeah. For, um, this, yeah. Congrats again. That's thank huge you. on the All American ranking and for Ball of the Month. You definitely earned it. Thank you. Balling out. So oh. yeah, hoping to see um, you do very well today. We're playing at um. Bowling Green today in the women's tournament, so oh. I'm excited to see what you'll do today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all I got.